you've ever gotten your uniform allowance and you did not spend it on your uniform, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you've ever had an important fund and you blew it on something, let me know. I'm always interested to find out. For any E3 and below, that's pretty much just any Camaro off base. I don't know why you guys do this. Like, comment, all that stuff helps me out quite a bit. If you guys are looking to support the channel, there's a couple different ways to do that. Uh, Alonzo Defense Group, uh, we make belts, we make awesome shirts that show that you're afraid of the dark and slightly afraid of the girls, kind of both, kind of a give take. Uh, discount code Grantham. Uh, get you some money off there, only for the belts, not for the shirts. Sorry about that. We also have Vertex if you want to get some sick plaid and look awesome because let's be honest, girls love plaid. And if you're a girl, then you just love plaid. So get in there. It's getting a little hotter. Uh, not the time to wear flannels during this point, and otherwise you're going to smell weird. Uh, discount code is Grantham, 25% off. Uh, love their stuff. If you're looking to get ammo, train, all that kind of stuff, then you know what you have. You have LEX and you have free munitions. Discount code Grantham. And uh, you'll get out there and you'll train because we know that training is important. Otherwise, you don't look cool. So make sure you do that. <laughs> okay. A uh, quick shout out. Um, over my time doing this, I've had a couple of buddies who have um, been influenced to go into the military. Uh, mostly because of them, but maybe a little influence from, from me. Uh, some of those poor souls are currently at Medina. So I want to give a quick shout out to you guys uh, down in Medina, getting your feet jacked up and getting water conned to death. And to let you know that nothing lasts forever. And in fact, it lasts a lot less long if you quit. <laughs> just don't quit. I'm just kidding. Uh, don't quit. Unless uh, you don't want to do the job, then quit. But if you want to do it, stick through it. I promise it will end and your life will get much better. So with that out of the way, uh, let's talk a little bit about the video today. So we're going to be talking about minimalist plate carrier setups. Now, the reason for that is I've made another video about plate carrier setups about maybe a year plus ago. And a lot of people liked it, but a lot of people were like, hey, I'm not in the military and this is kind of applicable to me, but kind of not. Can you make a video kind of more specific to maybe law enforcement setup or, you know, concerned citizen just wanting to make sure he's prepared because we're in America and you can do whatever the hell you want. Awesome. Yeah, I can definitely do that. Or God forbid, Airsoft. <laughs> just kidding. I, I think Airsofters are fine. I have no problem with them. Uh, P.S. I just like giving them a hard time. Uh, if Airsofting were bigger when I was... Uh, younger and more robust, I probably would have done it because it looks actually pretty fun. Uh, maybe I will do it. We'll see. Um, more on that. <laughs> so with those things um, kind of out of the way, the question is what plate care uh, would we use for this type of setup? And something more minimalist. Now there's a lot of really great minimalist designs out there and I'm going to be doing reviews and comparisons of those plate carriers in the future, but I do want to mention Peraz with their uh, plate carrier setups which are really well done. Today we're going to be doing the video on the Faro Concepts Slickster. Now if you know, I love the Slingster, which is their sling for rifles. Now this is their plate carrier and it is just as well thought out and made. So let's talk a little bit about the Faro Concepts Slickster and then we'll talk about kind of my philosophy of minimal use setup. So this right here is the Slickster. Now what's so cool about it is it's a very minimal design, it's very lightweight, but it's very well made. Specifically, what I really like about it is the cummerbund. So there's a couple different cummerbund options. Now the cummerbund is what wraps around kind of your waist, waist and attaches to the front. So when it comes to that, um, what I really like is this has a whole lot of elasticity to it. Now that could be a problem. Um, you know, I was kind of anticipating problems. Maybe it wouldn't be tight enough, but because it's so easily adjustable at the back, you simply just pull the Velcro off and then readjust Super simple. If you've used a Cry G JPC, you know how hard it is to readjust uh, the cummerbund to make it fit right. So I was a huge fan of that immediately. And then also, the cummerbund itself on the Slickster, um, it has that elasticity to that. Because of that, it kind of conforms to you when you breathe and that type of stuff, and it's incredibly comfortable. Now, there's a lot of different cummerbunds that they've made. So this particular one has these little pockets in it. Now, not all of them have pockets, some have molly. So if you're the type of guy where you don't just want plates in your front and the back, but you also want plates on the side, you should probably get the molly one, that way you can molly in some of those, you know, plate pouches on the side. Now, if you don't need that for whatever reason, then I think that this is a really good option because um, they're sized really well. They're sized perfectly for 5.56 magazines, but besides that, I've kind of made them into a multi-use item. So right here on the one that's closest to my right side, I have a tourniquet. And then to the back right there, I have my individual first aid kit. These are all important things to have on a plate carrier. 
uh, otherwise you die, right? So this particular individual first aid kit is from ITS. They make some great uh, individual first aid kits that are just pre-packaged and come with everything you need. Highly recommended. Now, on the other side, I have, this is on my left side, I have 556 five, magazines on there, right? Big fan of these. I have them angled forward into me. That way, when I reach back to grab them, I just kind of cant my hand back and rotate that in. Some people have them facing back where, like, they do this weird, like, they spin it, like, around their hand and flip it in. I don't know. I haven't prestiged yet. I'm not at that point, so I couldn't tell you. Um, right here at the back, a lot of people have been asking me about comm setup. So I did a kind of simple little setup right here. I have a Beofeng radio, UVR5 or whatever. UV5R, I think it is. Sorry, not as familiar with these. So the Prick 152 and the Enbitter, those radios aren't easily had by civilians because of laws and that type of thing. So people are asking me about civilian radio setups. So these pouches on the Slickster will fit like Motorola's and Beofangs and that type of thing. Now, if you're running like a larger radio, like a 152 or an Enbitter, probably recommend going with the Molly panels so that we can Molly in an actual pouch for that because those things are kind of heavy and need a little bit more support to be held into place. Just a quick thought there. I do have this routed with a wire up to the front. I'm running a little push to talk right at the front there. As far as the setup at the front and back, um, the front is has Velcro all along the front, so you can put in whatever chest rig you want, or if you want to run this slick and you're just looking to have some protection, then you can do that as well. Now this one, of course, has the Spirit of Systems micro chest rig. I'm a huge fan of that, we'll talk about that in a second here. Let me detach this just for a moment so you can see what the Slickster looks like. So you can see this really simple setup, really lightweight design. On the back, you have mesh. What I like about the mesh is it has a slight bit of padding, one, to help circulation. That way you're not just sweating your balls off when you have this thing on. Army guys, I know you guys have felt this all the time. Um, especially, I don't know why it is, but combat engineers, I don't know why you guys sweat so much. I mean, I know you guys are carrying a lot of gear, but I don't know. Something about combat engineers. Also, bad things happen whenever I'm near a combat engineer. Like the only time I ever witnessed like a full parachute malfunction uh, when there, there was a it was on a, it happened to a combat engineer. I don't know. I like you guys though, but you're you're crazy. Just so you know. Quick note there. <laughs> Running up from the plate carrier right here. Um, sorry, from the front panel right here. We have these little laser cut panels. I have the Swift Clip system from Mayflower right here. That way I can hook in any type of. Uh, chest rig that takes that type of attachment and most chest rigs do the Haley rig does Spirit of system rig does the Mayflower rigs do so uh, it's a good idea to have some on hand Running up from there. We have our shoulder straps now What I really like about the shoulder straps is how easy it is to adjust them You simply pull the velcro out at the back and it's really secure You kind of have to get a screwdriver in there and loosen it up and then you can adjust the length to make sure that you have these sized properly Really well done. Now, the shoulder straps, I know, are kind of thin, and that is a problem for a lot of people, but they're also wide, so that tends to work pretty well for me. Now, if you're a super, you know, you got, like, no shoulders, you're, like, super hunched in, might be a little bit of a problem, but for everybody else, it's going to be pretty much good. Um, for my battle gnomes out there, uh, mostly the Army guys, I don't know why you guys are always, like, short and stuff. I'm just ragging on the Army today. Um, this is going to be perfect. Uh, for Gumby-looking guys like me, A-OK. -okay. <laughs> Moving over to the back here, I'm sure some of you have noticed it, but the back does not have molly. So if that's a problem for you, one, you can get another uh, back pouch that has molly on it because it's easily detached by just undoing the two Velcro straps here and then the Velcro cummerbunds at the back, and then you can put on a whole new backer. So if you need to, you know, have in a bunch of bang pouches and all that type of stuff so you can do your room clearing during airsoft and all that kind of stuff, you can do that. Or if you actually need it for real stuff, then it's definitely doable. Now, for the rest of us, if you're just having this for a concerned citizen setup or something like that, uh, hell, you can just run a backpack off the sink and do hydration off of that. Or maybe you don't even need a backpack or something like that, and that's going to work fine. So that's the back right there. So that is kind of the Slickster in a nutshell. Uh, it is one of my favorite carriers that I have currently. Now, regarding the plates that I have in there, I am running plates from RMA Armament. Uh, they are the ultra high weight molecular polythene plates. Um, I'm testing out a lot of different plates right now, so I have no kind of opinions yet, but we'll be talking about that uh, in a future video here in just a little bit. Quick note on the chest rig. This is the Spiritus Systems chest rig. Huge fan of it because it's easily scalable. By putting in different inserts, I can easily change out from 5.56 mags to FAL mags, SR25 mags, to whatever I want. Uh, huge fan of it. Um, 
everything is just easily configurable with Velcro, just like the uh, Slickster is, so I felt like they just went together. Um, at the back here, I have a little uh, sock P dagger. Um, as far as how you set this thing up, you just put in the little shingles or whatever you want. At the front here, you can see this little pouch that's simply Velcroed in. I can pull that out whenever I want. And if I wanted to, I could add in 556 five, shingles up at the front right here instead of this pouch and this larger pouch right here. And then I could have a, trip, a double stack. Now, the only problem with doing a double stack on a chest rig is that the further out from your body, you know, those magazines are, the, the kind of not as close to the ground you can get. Uh, that can be a problem because when you're getting shot at, you, you want to get really low to the ground. You know, just a quick thought. So try not to sack things too far out, but this is kind of cool that it allows you to have those admin features because you might not may need to carry more than just magazines on you. So with those things out of the way, let's talk a little bit about philosophy behind a plate carrier. First off, how are you gonna wear it? A lot of people wear plate carrier really weird. So typically what you want is you want the top of the plate of the first plate carrier approximately at the angle of Louis. So that's just below your collarbones right here. The other plate is going to be sitting at about the level of T1. So I'm gonna put up a little diagram right here that will show you approximately where you want your plates at on your body to make sure that's fitting right. A lot of people wear their plates too low and I've definitely been a victim of this. I've definitely done it in the past, but I try to get better and do better and be better. So try to be better because the three functions of a plate carrier are one to stop holes, plates, two plug holes, you know, first aid kits, that type of thing, and then finally make holes. So again, when it comes to stop, stopping holes, make sure that you don't skimp on armor. Now, as far as what armor to get, I wish I had a video on that right now. I don't at the moment. I will be doing a video soon, so don't you worry. But make sure you do something that's good. I prefer ceramic personally. I know a lot of people are fans of AR-500. Uh, I am not sold on that at all. And we'll talk more about that in a later video. Finally, plug holes. Make sure that you have an individual first aid kit on you. I just did a video on individual first aid kits, so if you want to look at that, go ahead and follow my channel through and find that video because it rocks. I'll probably put up a little link for, right here for you. Click on it, get to that video, and crush it. Because if you don't have an individual first aid kit, you're kind of screwing yourself. Just a thought. Finally, make holes. And I know my Marines are getting super like pumped right now because I'm just talking about holes. Uh, so, making holes. Um, mags, make sure you carry enough mags on you. Typically, the loadout is about 210 rounds, so split between a couple different 30 round magazines. Make sure you have enough. Um, that's kind of the guideline. Um, you might be different depending on what you do and that type of stuff. But anyhow, the Ferro Concept Slingster and the setup that I have allows me to do that. So, find a setup that works for you. Uh, remember those three things in that priority list, stop holes, plug holes, make holes, and make sure that you get your setup well. Uh, biggest thing, keep it lightweight, keep it simple. Don't have too much crap flying off there, otherwise you're gonna get it caught up and it's gonna be a huge pain in the ass. And then, as with anything, train in it. If you don't train in your gear, then it, there's gonna be no point. And again, people are always like, oh, I hate people who train in gear. Who the hell cares? It's America, you can do whatever the hell you want. I mean, as long as you're not like infringing on somebody else's rights or doing anything crazy there. But the point is we can do what we want, especially when it comes to the Second Amendment. So make sure that you exercise those rights. And that's about as political as I'm ever gonna get on my channel for reasons. But get training, guys. If you're looking for training, there are multiple different options out there. You have Esoteric, you have Grey Hive, you have uh, Drew from Bear Solutions, and you have Garrett from Cogworks. All highly recommended from me. Take a look at them. You'll be happy with that training. Guys, lots of different ways to set up a plate carrier. I'm not gonna tell you that there's one perfect way to do it. This is just a one of the many that you can do. Take care, guys. Thank you for watching. And as always, stay looking cool by getting training and all that kind of stuff. I've got nothing else for you. Okay, so I do have something else for you. Uh, hair. Take care of your hair. Um, if you're using body wash for your hair, that's not correct. You know, there are hair products specific to hair to make sure that it's nice and soft and luscious and that type of thing because girls like that. Now, if you're a girl, you probably want your hair to be nice, soft, and luscious too. I think I have about 5% girl viewership. So if you're watching, I don't know, comment or something. But in any case, um, I didn't know what was good for hair. I had to do some research. I had to talk some, to some girls because they're crazy about that stuff. I now use like a tea tree oil shampoo conditioner thing. And, uh, you know, a little bit more expensive than, uh, you know, body wash, but at the same time, the hair is so much softer now that matters. So guys, take care of your hair. If you don't have any hair, polish it up.